Hi everybody, welcome to another 10 minute tip with me, Michael Hoffman from the OSINT Curious Project. I am going to be working with you on this episode with a few new or a few more command line tools in Linux to get your repository of tools up and running and more robust. So let's just give you a little scenario. Let's say that you were browsing around the web and you happen to come across this really cool website here, OSINT Curious, and you scroll down and you, oh, there's this command called tool and here's how to do it and you want to try it out. So you notice that we've got a username, sector 035, at, and then a host name probably, and then there's a little dollar sign command prompt. So you're thinking, going to be a Linux tool. So we're going to copy, oh, no. We're going to copy that, hang on, copy that, and we're going to launch our terminal emulator here, and we paste in the content, and no joy. Ah, it turns out my, uh, my system does not come with curl installed by default, and this happens a lot in Linux. You need to install those applications to do those special things that are outside of the normal things. So, what do we do? Well, we're going to just copy and paste this content. Copy it and paste it. It'll ask us for our password because we are going to be asking, we're going to be installing software as a super user. And there we've done it. Is that quick? And now the command works. So what does curl do? Curl reaches out to a website and it will retrieve content, whatever content that site is showing. So if I did a curl, let's see if this works, HTTPS, osincurio.us, there you go. It retrieves the, um, it retrieves the HTML source code from our website. All right, well, our website's not as fun as other ones. So um, what if we did this, www.match.com. Yeah, match.com, the dating site. Yeah, so it's grabbed the source code. Now, the source code is the same source code that you would get if you went to match.com, which I happen to have in a browser tab here. Match.com, if you right-clicked and view page source. We're not getting anything magical here. We're not getting special stuff. What we do get is this information really quickly. And let's just check this. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. You see at the end we have input type, hidden, view state, generator page timer let's go back over here to our terminal and here we have input type hidden view state generator and page timer so we're getting the same type of content now why would you want to do that via curl well um, let me go ahead and change into my temporary directory and let's do this exact same command and output it to a file called match.html so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing that source code, pulling it locally, and now I have a file on my system called match.com. And if I wanted to more through it, I can take a look at the HTML source code, which is the exact same HTML source code that's over here. And we can check that out by going ahead and opening match.html. We see that it's even pulling the same images in JavaScript, uh, and you can see that it is running locally from my system. All right, well, you might use curl to pull back that content. Now, in his blog post, Sector035, a wonderfully talented person, has illustrated a bunch of other uses for curl. I want to show you one of my favorite ones because you know what? Inside of the match.com website webpage, there's a Google Analytics code. Yeah, you know those codes that are UA dash something? Watch this, if we just go ahead and do this curl command, and instead of outputting to a file, what if we use the pipe command and sent it to our old friend grep, and grep for ua dash. Ah, there we go. We see that we've got this content right here along with a Google Analytics code. Well, let's, let's clean this up a little bit more. I'm gonna come over here to curl, and I'm gonna say, hey, be silent. Don't give me all this status, all this total percent received and all that. And you can see that now we just have the content coming back. Okay, but I still have a bunch of stuff here that I need to clean up. So let's clean it up in grep. Instead of grepping for UA, I'm going to just grep only show me the output that matches the following regular expression. UA dash and then 0 to 9 and then we'll say a dash. 
oh, we need to put a plus there. The plus signifies one or more of the numbers. And sure enough, we have the output we need. In fact, we can probably remove that dash and get the Google Analytics code. Well, is this specific to match.com? Absolutely not. If we wanted to, we could probably visit other sites like GE.com. Now, GE.com has two uh, UA codes there that do fit the bill, uh, but here we just need that one. And we could take that and then go to SpyCloud or Census and look for other websites that have that same UA code. So, curl grabs this content. This is HTML source code, retrieves it, and then it sends it through grep to extract just what we want. Now, let's install another tool real quick. Um, PDF grep is a tool that usually isn't installed on systems. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Ooh, I put a period on the end. There we go, installing PDF grep. Now what PDF grep does is the same thing as grep does, but it works with PDF files. And I happen to have some PDF files here. Let's look in home. I've downloaded some files from the Tibidoo Playhouse. Let's go to the reserve subscriber. This is a PDF file. Here we have text, how to redeem subscriber benefits. All right, let's see. All right, so let's, uh, let's look for some of these words in here, okay? So let's look for the words Valentini. Wallatini. That's a fun word to say. All right. So normally, you, if you were going to search for the stuff, we type grep. Uh, we're going to do it case insensitively. Wallatini. Did I spell that right? Wallatini. Two L's, one I and I. Two L's. Okay. Wallatini from that. From Thibodeau Playhouse downloads reserve and it didn't work. And the reason is that PDF files and some other types of files are binary in format and grep cannot look in there. But we just installed PDF grep. Now PDF grep knows how to go ahead and pull that content out, that text out. And sure enough, we have the line that we wanted with Wallatini and case insensitively. So we got that with a capital W. So just understand that there's always a tool to do what you want. You just might have to install it. And PDF grep, PDF grep. Of course, I gotta do minus help has a bunch of other formats here. We can search for a peaker, which is a regular expression. We can do it recursively, etc. All right, so that's all my time right now. We've gone ahead and installed software with, with apt for Ubuntu-based systems and I believe Debian-based systems. We've also used curl to retrieve content and send that off to grep. We've also output that to a file and we've used the PDF grep application to look at content within PDF files. I hope you've enjoyed this 10 minute tip as much as I have. And I want you to remember to stay ocean curious. Bye everybody.